Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Kelsey Cairns. 47 ABC News at 10 on the CW starts right now. Well, here's a look at some of the stories making national news today. George Herbert Walker Bush, America's 41st president, is being remembered today. The former president died Friday evening at the age of 94. Meanwhile, a Seaford man is behind bars tonight, accused of seriously injuring multiple people, including two children, while driving drunk. Police say 50-year-old James Betts slammed into another car head-on after veering into the opposite lane. I'm Kelsey Cairns, and I have all the details coming up tonight during the 47 ABC News Hour. Kelsey, what can you tell us today? Thank you, Erica. Well, it seems quiet right now, but that was certainly not the case last night. Police say just after 8 p.m. a man was shot. Now, state police are asking anyone who has seen or heard anything to please come forward. Milford police say a child was shot after being caught in the crossfire. While there is no known cure for the disease, they're going to continue to monitor the horses as we head into the warmer months. We're told the woman walked right up to Horsey's home, looked inside, realized she was caught on camera, then knocked on the door, bullying someone from behind a computer screen illegal, meaning anyone that does it could face up to three years in prison. They're calling it the Suzanne Jones Act, and if passed, it would require inmates released from prison to stay in jurisdictions where they lived prior to incarceration. It's a mismatching sock frenzy here at Sussex Tech, right here in America's coolest small town. Dozens of brand new coats to choose from. These firefighters are making sure kids are cozy and warm. Gordon here has made a positive impact on Worcester County Public Schools. These food items will keep SNAP recipients covered up until March. Reporting in Georgetown, I'm Kelsey Cairns, 47 ABC.